All right, Debbie Lee, can you hear me all right? Yes, I sure can. Okay, excellent, excellent. Thank you very much for that introduction. I really appreciate you opening up this call. And guys, I am super excited to be here with you this evening. Uh, we've got an awesome, awesome training. Uh, we've got still got people coming in as we speak right now. So welcome to everybody that's just joining us. Uh, we are recording this so uh, that we will be uh, putting this out to the entire company here uh, afterwards. But guys, uh, it's good to be with, be with you this evening. Uh, it is seven o'clock Eastern time. It is Wednesday, December 8th. And uh, we have a very, very special training to go over with each and every one of you tonight. And let me see why my slides aren't working here. There we go. <laughs> ATM strategy. All right. Now the ATM strategy is a very, very powerful tool to help you build your business. And if you've heard me before uh, in any of the trainings I've done or Breakfast of Champions or anything like that, I always talk about tools. Why? Because before network marketing, I was just a construction worker, right? I have no college education. I uh, never went to day of school in my life, uh, even though I've actually spoke at, in business courses uh, in front of the room, but I've never been in the seat, okay? Um, however, that's what I, uh, I like to illustrate with is, is construction tools because we can all uh, understand that very simply. So when you wanna build something, you have a bag of tools, right? You have a bag of materials and you have a bag of tools and you have a goal of building something. So what our role, our job here in Vive Corporate is to provide you with the materials and the tools that you need to be able to build your business, okay? However big or small you want, just like building a home. You can build a small home, you can build a medium home, you can build a large home or a mansion, whatever you wanna build if you have the right resources, okay? And so we're, our job is to provide you with those tools and the resources to be able to build any size business that you want uh, here with Viv to achieve any kind of lifestyle goals that you have for yourself and your family. And so one of those tools that we have for you is the ATM strategy. What does ATM stand for? Well, like it says on the screen, ad tag message strategy. Okay. So it's a very, very important tool for you to learn uh, in your business. We also have uh, to be able to prospect people. We also have our outreach app uh, powered by rapid funnel, where you can send out trackable links to prospects, but this is going to be for people that like to use Facebook. Okay. And as, as we all know, a lot of us have thousands of friends on Facebook friends. I, I, I use that term loosely, right? friends, acquaintances, whatever. Um, they're called friends on Facebook, so that's why we call them that. But you have thousands, you could have hundreds or even thousands of friends on Facebook that you could use this strategy with, okay? And that's why the strategy is so important. So let's get right into it. Yes, that's me, okay? I think we got to reverse those slides. <laughs> so uh, good to be with you guys this evening. So this is the Facebook group that you all need to be on, okay? You want to go to Facebook and you want to type in Vive, Save, and Earn. Okay, if you want to type in the URL, it's right there on your screen. I'll leave it up for a second so you can write it down or screenshot this facebook.com slash groups slash Vive save and earn. Okay, this is the ATM page for Vive. All right, so if you haven't, if you've not joined this page yet, go do it right after this call. Okay, or do it on your phone or while you're watching it on your laptop, but pay attention to what I'm talking about. Okay, so you want to be able to leverage this group. And, and so that means you've got to be a part of this group. So all of you should definitely join this page. Now, let's get right into it and share with you exactly how the ATM system works. So ATM stands for add, tag, and message, okay? This is how you're going to build your business utilizing Facebook. And guys, I'm telling you, this method is proven true to work, okay? I'm going to give you one example. I've been using this for years, but I'll give you one example. In one of the last companies I was with, we, had, we set up an ATM page like this. Within one year, one year of utilizing and, and everybody utilizing the ATM page, there was over 350,000 people in this page. And as a result, we acquired, acquired over 100,000 consultants alone. And out of those 100,000 consultants, there was almost a million customers. Think about that. And that's utilizing the ATM method on Facebook, okay? So there's a very, very powerful tool if you use it, if you take it seriously. So let's go through a, 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 a couple methods of how to use this Facebook page. So the first thing you're going to do is A, right? A stands for add. So first you're going to add your prospects to this private Facebook group, okay? You're going you're gonna to add them to the group. And we're going to go through each of these in more detail. Then you're going to tag them. You're going to tag them 
in a post or a video that you want them to see based on a conversation that you had with them. Okay. So you're, if you're, if they're interested in saving money on bills or saving money on, uh, on everyday things with our lifestyle services, you tag them in a video, the appropriate video for that. If they're interested in earning money by helping other people save money on their bills, then you're going to want to tag them in one of the presentation videos that are in that page. Okay. Very simple concept, right? And then you're going to want to message them to see which part of the video they like the best. Okay. So again, very, very simple concept. So once you do all three of those, here's, or here's what, here's what we're going to do. We're going to take you through on how you can pique the interest of people. I'm going to take you through from beginning to end in the prospect, pros, process of prospecting. Okay. That was really hard to say the process of prospecting. So here's a couple scripts that you're going to want to kind of maybe learn or screenshot or write down as we're going through these. Okay. So there's a couple types of people that are in your life. There's warm prospects, which stands for people that you know, and then there's cold prospects, which stands for people that you just met. Notice I didn't say people you don't know. I said people that you just met. There's a big difference, okay? You never wanna just shoot out information to people that you don't know or don't know you. You want to at least meet them, <laughs> right? And meet them like a normal human being. Hey, my name is this, my, your name is that. Nice, what do you do, what do you do, blah, blah, blah. Nice to meet you. It's good to catch up, good to, good to be an acquaintance. That's a cold prospect, okay? So let's talk about warm prospecting. These are your friends, right? These are the people that you know, all right? Not just a random friend on your Facebook page. This is somebody you know, your neighbor, your brother, your sister, your friend you're from high school, your work colleague, whatever it is, somebody you know well. They're warm to you, warm prospect. So here's a simple script that you can use. Hey, uh, hey, Bob, hope you're doing well. Listen, I just found an incredible way to make some extra money on the side. You have to see this. I'm going to add you to a secret Facebook page that I was added to, and I'm going to tag you in a post, okay? It tells you exactly what we do. You've got to check it out, okay? Now, the thing about the psychology about the wording in there is very, very important. See, they're your friend or family member, right? You can tell them what to do. <laughs> you don't have to kind of cower around and ask them permission to do they're your friend, right? Let me give you an example. If you were going to send them a cute kitty video, a video of a cute kitten doing something goofy, you wouldn't ask their permission. You'd just send it to them and say, hey, this is funny. Check this out, right? You wouldn't be like, hi, I was wondering if I could send you a video of a cute kitten. No, that's weird, right? They're your friend. They'd be like, yeah, of course. Why wouldn't you just send it, right? So if they're your friend, you don't really have to ask permission. You just do this. You tell them they have to see this. You're going to do this. All right. You've got to check it out. Think about the way that's worded. Okay. It's very, very important. Okay. Now let's talk about somebody that you just met. Somebody that you just got acquainted with, not somebody you don't know yet. Okay. Somebody you've met and you're acquainted with. This is a cold prospect. Okay. So hi, John. Listen, uh, you know, you could say it's nice to meet you, whatever, after you've already met. But listen, I've been following you lately, and I have something that I think you'd be interested in. I found a way to make money using Facebook. You've got to see this. I'd love to add you to our secret community and tag you in a video. It's really short and sweet, and it tells you exactly what we do. You got to check this out. Okay, so, so do you see the difference in the wording there? You're kind of asking permission but you're also telling them that they've got to do it. They've got to check it out and you're going to add them to the page, right? So you're, you're asking for permission, but in a really, really nice way by just saying, you know, I'd love to do this and I'm going to add you to the page, right? So you're still being direct. You're still being forward. No harm, no foul. Guys, if they don't want to be added, that they just don't accept the invitation. It's that simple, okay? So so think about the wording with those two, two different prospects, okay? And, and really read that and go over it, guys. When I first got into network marketing 20 plus years ago, 22 almost years ago, the name of the, the, name of the game was scripts. That's it. I used, my mentor made me memorize scripts. And by the way, there was no text messaging. There was no Facebook. There was barely email, right? Not everybody even used it yet. 
So guess what my scripts had to be communicated by on the phone. And by the way, it was my parents' landline phone. I didn't even have a cell phone yet. <laughs> Does that make sense? So the, the point is, guys, I had to memorize these scripts. I literally had to print it out. And if I called somebody, I, I would write off the script, right? And so, if, you know, you can use this copy and paste these scripts, uh, you know, type it out, copy and paste it to, to however many people you want. The point is, think about the psychology of the wording. It's very, very important. And I'm telling you guys, this has been tried and true over millions of uses, not, not thousands, not hundreds of thousands of uses. These scripts have been used millions of times and they work, okay? So let's keep moving. I just, I like to get into the psychology of the things I train so you guys kind of understand it a little bit, a little bit deeper and why we do what we do and how we do it. Okay, so when that prospect uh, replies, yeah, sure, that's fine, okay? You wanna add them to the group and it's called Master Your Money, Save and Earn with Vive. Okay, so then you wanna add them to the group. Now, let's get into what happens next here. You wanna tag them in a post, okay? So you wanna tag them in the post that you said you tag them in. Now, here's a couple do's and don'ts. Okay, a do is message them when you tag them. You wanna send them a quick note to tell them that you did tag them like you said you would in this video or post and, 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 and you'd like them to check it out. And then you let them know that you're gonna reach out to them again to get their feedback, okay? To get their feedback. Or you could, you know, I like to say, to tell me what your favorite part was, okay? A don't is never, ever, 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 ever answer questions on your own. And some of you might be listening to this training right now and might be like, Nick, I've been in Vive since the very beginning. I can answer questions. Well, here's what I'm gonna tell you guys. No matter how long you've been in Vive, which is definitely a short period of time. And obviously this does apply to newer people more, but your friend, if you haven't talked to them about this already, your friend does not know about you being an expert in Vive. Okay. Your friend is your friend from work or your family member that doesn't know anything about Vive yet. So how are they going to, they don't, they don't know that you're a expert in Vive and you can answer all their questions. Here's psychology tip number two. The other reason you never, ever, ever want to answer questions, especially if you're a big leader and know all the answers, is because the, your prospect is they're, they're going to think that they're going to have to do the exact same thing as you. Let me tell you something, and I want you to remember this. People never, ever, ever say no to a good opportunity. That's just dumb, <laughs> right? That's dumb. Why would they say no to a good opportunity? Of course. What they say no to is what they think they have to do after they say yes. And if you spend two hours trying to convince them to do this, answer all of their questions, maybe good or not, whether you do it in a good way or not, and you spend hours answering their questions, bugging them constantly, they're gonna say no. And I would too, because that's not the kind of business I wanna be in. The bugging business people, the bugging people business, sorry. <laughs> the bugging people business. I don't want to be in that business and I'm sure none of you do as well. So we can't be those people. That's why you've got to pass the ball, pass the ball to your leader. They want, you need to let them see you do as little work as possible. I hope you're okay with that. I want you to do as little of work as possible. I want you to rely and lean and crutch on the tools that we provide for you because the simpler you make it, the more yeses you'll get, okay? So if your prospect has questions, what do you do? Well, you've officially gone from the peak stage to the pass stage. Peak and pass. Peak their interest, that's your job. And then you pass the ball, that's somebody else's job. So what you're gonna wanna do is connect them with uh, the leader that you're working with to handle their questions. Set up a, a three-way group chat on text message. Set up a three-way uh, group chat on Facebook Messenger. Set up a three-way Zoom call. Set up a three-way phone call. There are so many options. It's 2020, almost 2022. Guys, there are a ton of different options on WhatsApp, on Telegram, on all these different apps. You can set up a three-way chat with you, your prospect, and the, the leader that you're working with or an expert in Vive, okay, that agrees to do three-ways with you, okay? So you want to start that group chat with a leader. Lean on the field leaders, lean on me, okay? 
and this will help you run an effective business in as simplest way possible, okay? So you wanna reach out to a leader that you're working with to walk your prospect through the Viv savings or earning opportunity, right? They'll be able to answer any questions about you know, being, becoming a customer, which when, it's, when you're talking about customer, when you're talking about a person being, becoming a customer, you can answer most of their questions because it's based on your own experience of uploading your own bills or using our safe lifestyle services, right? But when you're talking about prospecting somebody to be a consultant, this is when this is most crucial to rely on a leader or a, a somebody, you know, a, a, an expert that you're working with, a third party for verif a third party verification. I'm sure all of you have heard, the, heard of that before. Okay, so you want to lean on somebody uh, as third party verification when it comes to prospecting for people to become consultants. Okay, so let's keep going. All right, so here's the formula. This is where it gets fun, guys. This is the call to action of this training. So get ready, and I want you to write this down. Like Debbie Lee said, grab a pen grab a paper and write this down. This is so important. Okay, so we're gonna teach you a, pro a prospecting formula called the three, uh, 553 formula, okay? Here's how it works. You're gonna reconnect or meet five to seven new people a day, okay? So if it's, write a list of people from your, that you went to high school with that you haven't talked to in 20 years, right? Or more, right? Or, or from your old job or from when you lived in a, a city and now you live in a different city right? You, you can make tons of different lists of people that you can, I'm going to hit up this list this week. I'm going to hit up this list next week, right? So it's easy to connect, reconnect, or even meet five to seven new people per day. Very simple. It's five, friend, friend five to seven people a day and shoot them a quick message. Hey, my name is, it's nice to meet you, right? It's nice to meet you. I'd love to connect. Do it, done. That's it. So do five to seven people a day. Then you want to peak the interest of at least five people each day, meaning five of those seven might have got back to you and said, hey, what's up, how you doing? And you wanna lead them towards a peak, which is one of, the, one of the scripts that we already went over. And then you wanna ATM, you wanna add at least three people per day out of those five that you peaked, at least add three people a day to the ATM page, okay? That's it. Guys, imagine if we had everybody in Vive add three people a day to the ATM page. How much energy would be going on in there? How many? How much business we'd be doing? There'd be guys. It's going. It would be going crazy. Now I'm going to share with you some numbers that I that I worked out. Okay. So here's how it works. So imagine you added five people per day. Okay. Or you talked to five. You had thirty conversations about Vive per week. Okay. That's so we're going to take this and break this down into a, a per week thing. So you had 30 conversations about Vive per week. That would equal, on average, about 20 people per week actually watching the videos and then asking questions, okay? So five a day, 30 a week, 20 actually following through and watching the videos, right? Because we all know people aren't, not everybody you add is going to actually watch it. Right. So let's just let's break it down. I'm, I live in reality. I've been in the field though for 18 years. Right. I, I know exactly what it's like to be prospecting people and how many actually do what you ask them to do. Right. So 20 people actually watch the video and then 15 of those 20 agree to a three way chat with your leader. OK, guys, at a one out of three closing ratio. So three. So one out of those three people that you hook up with your leader actually become a consultant, you'll be adding five new consultants each week. Guys, what would that do for your business? What would that do for your business right now? Okay. That would absolutely launch your business into massive momentum. Now here's where it gets crazy. Are you ready? Okay. Let me so let you soak that one in for a second. Five new consultants a week. What if you taught them to do the exact same thing? What if you're not new in Vive and you already have a team and you're committed to doing this, but you're going to get your team committed to doing this as well? Whoa. Have you ever heard of something in network marketing called exponential growth? Imagine if everybody on your team was doing this. Everybody on your team was adding just three to five people a day, three people a day to the ATM group. Okay. What would that do for your business? What if every single person on your team was getting five new consultants per week?
because of utilizing this ATM system? How fast would your team be growing? What kind of ranks would you and your team be hitting if everybody was doing this? Okay, so that's a little vision building, guys. And, and here's, here's my point. It all starts with you. Whether you're on this, this training right now, listening to this live, or if you're listening to the recording, and let's say you already have an existing team in, in Beef, start today. Start doing this today. Make it your goal to start adding three people a day to the ATM page, okay? And then set the example for your existing team and help them to do the exact same thing. Now, if you're on the other side of the spectrum and you're brand new, excuse me, you're brand new and you're watching this training for the very first time, you're like, I have nobody on my team. This is awesome. This is exactly what I needed. Start today. <laughs> Start today and then teach those people that become consultants to do the same thing. That is called duplication. And guys, in network marketing, duplication rules the nation. So that concludes the ATM training, but stick with me. What's up next? Okay, so here's some awesome things that are coming up next. Next Wednesday, December 15th, same time, same day as right now, okay, we are going to do a Got Bills party, okay? Now, I heard you guys have done this before. I haven't been involved in that, but I heard there were some awesome results from doing that, okay? So you definitely want to save this date, Wednesday, December 15th, 7 p.m. Eastern time. Okay, it's going to be on our ATM Facebook page. The one we've been talking about this whole training, it's going to be hosted live on that Facebook page. Okay, so you want to invite all of your contacts. You want to get on, make sure you're there yourself, your prospective customers, your prospective consultants, make sure they are there. Why? Because you're going to hear testimonials. You're going to hear live testimonials from our existing customers. You're going to see guidance a step-by-step -step guidance on how to upload the bills. And then you're going to learn about our new products. Okay. Learn about our newest products and opportunities to save time and money with Vive. Okay. So it's an incredible uh, uh, tool we're going to use. We're going to do this event next week. And there's two ways to share this event. Okay. If you're like, man, I want to be on there and I want everybody to be on there. I don't blame you. I'm, I do too. Right. But there's two ways to share it. Number one is our outreach app. Outreach powered by Rapid Funnel app. Okay, you can send a trackable invitation to your prospective customers straight from your outreach app. Okay, so uh, how to get to that? It's very simple. You open up your outreach app on your phone, you click on the bottom right where it says more, and then you click on events. And you're going to click on November 5th, or sorry, December 15th. Sorry, I messed my months up there. December 15th on the calendar is going to pop up. Click on December 15th and you're going to see the Got Bills party. And then at the bottom, you'll be able to share however you want to share it. Email, text, Facebook message, any of the apps you want to use, Outreach connects with all of them. Okay. And you can send that to anybody that you want to be on this call to learn how to upload their bills. Or two, you can utilize uh, Facebook, right? And that you can add them to the ATM group and then tag them in the actual event. When we go live, you can give them a heads up. Hey guys, we're doing a live Facebook event on uh, sharing, showing you how to save money on your bills and showing you how to upload your bills with our company. When the event starts, I'm going to tag you in it, but be ready at 7 p.m. Eastern on Wednesday night. Okay. So very simple guys, very simple tools. And again, like I said, you know, the best part about this business is we're going to provide you with all the tools that you need to have success. Okay. So all you got to do is use them. Just like my mentor in construction used to say, all you got to do is pick up the hammer and pound away. And that's all you got to do with the tools here in Vive. Just pick them up and use them, pound away, and you guys will have success. So with that, guys, thank you so much for hopping on. I appreciate all of you. Oh, one more thing I want to mention. In 30 minutes, exactly 30 minutes, I'll be hosting the weekly uh, 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 presentation overview, Vive presentation overview at 9 p.m. Eastern time. Oh, I'm sorry. One hour and 30 minutes. My mind's running ahead of time. So one hour and 30 minutes at 9 p.m. Eastern, we're doing a live uh, Vive presentation overview. I'll be doing it. So make sure your teams are on, make sure your guests are on, and we'll see you in about an hour and a half. All right, guys, take care, and we'll see everybody next time.